yeah, that's pretty stuck. <laughs> <laughs> well there you have it folks cows do not like cheese it i didn't feed them hay last night so they should be pretty darn hungry and easy to manipulate i got two left out there three that haven't came in yet so i'm going to tease them with a little cake and see if that works if you guys ever hear me talking about cake and you don't know what it is a little bit higher in, in protein it's a lot of cotton seed holes a little bit of corn and soybean meal. Protein high concentrate supplement that you give cows out on pasture. I use it as a tool really. $10 bag of cake makes your life so much easier. So what I'm trying to do is I'm just getting them up here because this alleyway here, I'm gonna run them back through and I got a backpack sprayer with some ivermectin in it. A little squirt of that. Takes care of these lice pretty quick. Of course, I got tumbleweeds to deal with. Here in eastern Colorado, this is something that, these are actually resistant to Roundup. So, they just grow and grow. And fill up your fences and your trout. Okay. What are you trying to do? Get in the candy jar? Hey, that's my get back. That's my get back. Hey, give me that back. Give me that. Hey. hey. <sighs> Darn cow. Okay, now follow me. Hey, come back. Come back, cows. Oh yeah, now they're coming. I should have been up here a little earlier today. I ended up getting held up by Big Iron trying to buy a sprayer. Nothing fancy by any means. It's just an old piece of junk. I think it ended up selling for 4,400 bucks. Pull behind the tractor, which would go good behind that little red tractor I got. It was a five, the last five minutes of the auction. If you make a bid, then it goes on for another five minutes. That must have carried on for an hour and a half. And that darn sprayer ended up selling for, I think it was like 4,500 bucks or 40, maybe it's 4,400, but who knows where it would have stopped with an auction. I think I wasted an hour and a half, maybe two hours watching that stupid sprayer sell and I never even got to buy it. It's okay, I can buy more cows, huh? Yeah, we should put our money in cows, not sprayers, not things that cost money, things that make money, right? What do you guys say? I think she agrees. As I'm throwing cake at it. As I'm throwing feet at them. <laughs> Let's put some cake out here, feed these guys up here, keep them distracted for a minute, and then we'll go get the sprayer. A real sprayer that I can afford. This is a sprayer I can afford. <laughs> Turns out I've got one that was smarter than all of them, except I know this cow, it's got a corn addiction. Kind of like I've got a farming addiction, right? Let's give her a little shot. There, that's all she needs. She'll be good, lice free for about, oh, three, four months. I really hope this is gonna work. I've never done it like this before. I have put cows in kind of a tighter area and sprayed them, but with them being, oh, eight months, eight plus months bred, I kind of hate to push them around too much and bounce around. Just, it's hard on those calves. So let's see what happens here, guys. Hopefully it all goes smoothly. We'll Lend them out, they're gonna run down. They should run down, because they know there's no food in there now. And hopefully I can spray them as they're coming out. Let's see how this works. That's old meanie. Ooh, she's a mean cow. Come on, buddy. Since they're being pickles, I'm gonna try to chase them up here in this area. Okay. Ah. Come on, Gertrude. Get up there. Okay, you pickles. I opened the gates up so they could go right on down and out. Oh yeah, that's how you back pour some cattle now. I didn't feed these cows very much, so they should follow me with the pickup pretty easy. My biggest concern is hopefully just not getting stuck out there in the stubble field. I've been delaying this move for a couple days, just trying to hopefully not get stuck in the mud. I release you. Come on, cows! Come on, cows! Hey. Great wolf, baby. Where's the cornet? That's what she says. 
Don't get stuck, don't get stuck, don't get stuck. Oh, that's not so bad. That's how I like to move cattle. Oh, and Wolf Baby's getting picked on. Gertrude, be nice to Wolf Baby. <coughs> we'll just take him through the gate, put him back to the pasture where they used to be. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Oh, crap. I'm stuck. Oh, God dang it. Oh, shoot. You can see I just I started kind of losing it, getting pushed off my dry spot, and bam. Buried. Well, here I am stuck in the middle of nowhere. Cows are bearing down on me. I'm not completely stuck yet, but I'm pretty stuck. Oh, God. Here we go. Keep your fingers crossed for me. Well, gotta make a call of shame here. Hey, are you around up here at the farm by any chance? I got a little stuck. <laughs> Help is on the way. Thank God for old Uncle Kurt. <laughs> that guy's bailed me out of more predicaments. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty stuck. <laughs> oh. Well, not much to look at here besides wolf babies, so I'm gonna wait till the tractor gets here. Believe it or not, somehow I managed to get all the cows on the right side of the fence with just a bag of cake. Next time, all I'm taking is a four-wheeler and a bag of cake, and that would probably work just fine. That's what I should have done this this time. We'll probably just take this bale off here, feed these cows real quick, and then pull it out empty. That's probably what we're gonna do. Well, this is the worst part of standing next to your uh, stupid mistake while somebody else shows up to see, see what you did. Yeah, I gotta swallow your pride for a second. Everybody about how awesome I am to get stuck. Hey, John Boy is the best. If you need anybody to get things stuck, John Boy can do it. <laughs> Thanks, Shaver. Oh, well, yeah, let's just whip around there and we can go in there and feed them. Yeah. That was exciting. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> My truck looks like it's on fire for some reason. Ah, it'll make it. It's a Chevy. Chevy.